Welcome to episode 22 of the series Cosmic Love is the Solution for Everything. In the previous episodes we have discussed the main problems of Earth society that are causing suffering, disasters and diseases. In this episode we will look at the challenges for those who have already some level of knowledge and need to heal all blocking obstacles to activate real cosmic love in the heart and consciousness, because this will help to adjust to the higher transformation energies that the planet Earth wants to go through. Without cosmic love in the heart and consciousness, it is not possible to be in tune with higher energies of light or incarnate in higher dimensions. No matter how many books you have read, no matter how many videos you have watched, all this knowledge would be worthless if one does not activate real cosmic love energy of light in the consciousness. That is why in this series we are focusing mainly on the important knowledge and wisdom that our soul needs to master. Because the only thing that our soul take along in each life is the learned wisdom in the consciousness and the resulting character. That is why children have already a character when they incarnate. It is the character that this soul has developed in the previous lives. A wise and intelligent soul is cultivating a consciousness of cosmic love, peace and friendliness, free from negative character, free from dogmatic belief systems and free from destroying and contaminating the nature. Therefore, this soul is creating positive karma, it is developing spiritually faster and it is a real help for the development of the entire society. Having some abilities like an open third eye or receiving messages from some entities is not a sign for being spiritual. Many evil and possessed people have these abilities too and they are misusing them. The only sign that somebody is spiritual is when this person has the energy of cosmic love in the heart and consciousness without any trace of ego, arrogance, hate or jealousy. If the majority would use cosmic universal love in the daily life, it is possible to create step by step a positive environment of peace and happiness, just like it is the case on higher developed planets. In the previous episodes I have given all the knowledge and wisdom that is necessary to heal this unbalanced society on earth. But as long as the majority is not using a consciousness of love, this wisdom has to be repeated. The repetition of the wisdom and knowledge in this series is helping to remember and manifest the higher wisdom in the consciousness and make it a stable part of it, just like constant water and sunlight is helping a plant to grow. We have always a choice to use a character of love and walk the path of light, happiness, peace and abundance and not fall into the traps of darkness and negativity with an evil character. No matter if others have decided to be negative and block their development, we have our own choice and we can decide to have light and cosmic love in our consciousness and be a healthy factor for the planet and create positive karma for our next lives. Especially in the chaotic society of today, when many negative earth humans are misusing the internet for insulting and hurting others, or telling lies about others, it is important to focus on having a consciousness of love. As I said in all previous episodes, everything in the existence is energy, everything is connected by fine matter energy, everything visible and invisible on every dimension. Everything and everybody on every planet in all universes is energetically connected with the fine matter energy field of the existence and therefore everything has an impact on everything. All our thoughts, feelings and actions are creating an energy that creates our environment. The more we are focusing on the energy of the source, the energy of light and love, the more the environment can be transformed into a place of harmony. That is why we light workers are doing light work and use cosmic love energy to cleanse negative energies on earth, no matter if these energies are from the present or from the past. This time we had light work in Spain and later in Greece. So in order to use a clean and high energy, we went to mountains in Alicante so we can use the energy for our light work. Our base was a small village Confrides. Here we had a mountain walk with view to the lake Guadalest. In this first walk we cleansed our energies and charged with the energy of the mountains.
At night we were watching the stars and had some orb visitations. Next day we went to the mountain Puig Gambana, that is 1,400 meters high, to do our first light work. This mountain has crystals inside, and that is increasing the energy of the mountain even more. On the long way up, we had found many crystals that were a gift of the mountain, because some people need years to find crystals visible on the surface. So we used these crystals later in our meditation. We have found a cave near the summit of the mountain that was created by waves millions of years ago, when this area was under the sea. This was the perfect place for the meditation because in a cave you are closer to the crystals of the mountains and the energy is strong. Spain, Portugal, England, France and Holland have accumulated a lot of negative karma in the past by killing millions of Native American Indians, forcing thousands of Africans to be slaves in America and stealing gold, ancient books and artifacts from different countries for greedy religious priests and kings. Those who had caused suffering and manipulation in past lives created a negative karma for themselves because they have blocked the development of millions of people and are reincarnated again in those countries to redress and rectify what they have done. Here in Spain, some old behaviors and negative energies are still existing, like killing bulls in arenas to satisfy bloodthirst and demons. There are hundreds of middle-aged castles radiating the old energies. And there is still the glorification of rich families who want to be worshipped as kings. So there is still the energy of the middle age, and this old negative consciousness can be seen in other European places too, like France, Germany, England or Italy. Old negative energies and balance from the past are blocking the spiritual development and need to be healed and cleaned in any country on planet Earth. As we discussed in all previous episodes, everything is energy and energy has an impact on our thoughts, our emotions, the environment or the weather. The next day we went to the mountain Font de Labre in Confrides Alicante to have a meditation and send healing energy to the entire planet. Later we went to the Castel de Gualaleste. In this modern Earth society of chaos, it is important not to lose the connection with the energy of the cosmic awareness in order to have love, wisdom and intelligence and be free from negative situations or diseases. Some extraterrestrials say that from all species they have found in three different universes, Earth humans are the ones with the most suicidal thoughts. And that is because most Earth humans don't understand life and are totally unaware of reincarnation or karma. The entire planet can be healed if the majority of Earth humans were using a consciousness of love. On higher spiritual planets, everybody has a consciousness of universal law. That is why these planets are living in peace, abundance and very high spiritual intelligence. So it would be intelligent to learn from advanced societies from higher dimensions and coach, cultivate and educate their own consciousness to achieve a higher cosmic consciousness. Spiritual development is a process that goes over many lives. You cannot push a button and make it happen in one second. Wisdom can only be gained by many experiences in many lifetimes and of course by understanding the lessons and wisdom of these experiences. You cannot force yourself or others to become spiritual overnight and understand how the existence work. If you want a flower to grow, you cannot open it by force. You can give water and light and you have to wait until the flower opens herself. Some will open in this life and most will open in another life. Spiritual development has nothing to do with believing blindly some superstitions from some dogmatic fanatics on earth. Spiritual development is a fundamental universal process that each soul goes through in many millions of lifetimes. 
Spiritual development is not a new way. It's not a secret. It's not some kind of modern trend, and it has nothing to do with belief systems. In fact, it is the oldest and purest way that exists in the entire existence in all universes, simply because it is part of the cosmic awareness. So there is no secret like you see on fake movies. In reality, it is the oldest and most known practice in the universes, and has been teached since millions of years on many planets. Spiritual development comes from real personal experiences with the light and love energy of the cosmic awareness over many lives. Wisdom needs time to grow. Spiritual masters have learned and developed themselves in thousands of lives, not just in one. Every flower has its own time to blossom. Some people need many lives to develop spiritually because they miss to master the lessons of the lower dimensions, like on Earth. Even some people who call themselves spiritual are in reality not spiritual, because they still have ego, arrogance, hate, jealousy, superstitions, or smoking alcohol, drug addictions. On Earth, we can see three main categories of Earth human development. Not spiritual, spiritual interested or in process, and spiritual developed. So, in the first category, we have the majority of Earth humans that is creating negative energy with hate, ego, arrogance, greed, envy, insulting, competition thinking, criminals, killing of any kind, demonic, dogmatic belief systems, demonic secret governments, greedy people in power. Worship of weapons, military, animal killing and eating their corpses, alcohol drinking, any kind of smoking, disfigurement with skin piercing and tattoos, beating and insulting others because of primitive sport games, misuse of any kind of technology to harm others, pollution of nature and atmosphere, and all the other actions with negative energy on planet Earth. People in this category have negative karma and will have to clean it in the current and in many following lives. Some positive extraterrestrials say they don't have any interest in meeting Earth humans because no other race ridicules other races and each other like Earth humans do. Today, with the internet and TV, even more than many years ago, and it looks like the majority is degenerating each year more and more. To a race of idiocy and insanity, interested only in the most unimportant, primitive, or crazy things, and with no interest in spiritual development. In order to have a developed and positive society, it is important to focus on universal love and spiritual development, and delete any kind of negative behavior from this category. In the second category, we have those souls who have developed a better consciousness and think about a higher meaning of life. Some are interested in spiritual development and have started to study it. In this middle stage, a soul has to prove that it wants to develop to the highest level and not fall back into the first category. That is why, in this category, we can still see some people who are still insulting and attacking others who are more developed, because they still have some blockages from ego, arrogance, jealousy, or religious brainwashing from the past lives that need to be healed and transformed. So, in this stage, many students make mistakes and negative karma if they don't learn to heal all inner blockages, be humble, and fall not back to negative behavior patterns. In this category, we can also see many who are in a test phase for healing or channeling. In this stage, you have to prove that you are using the cosmic energy with the right energy of love. Some are working with the right energy, but many have still ego, jealousies, and an arrogant character. These people are those who had misused their powers in past lives, and now they have the karma to do enough good deeds in order to clean the negative karma. Many of them have misused the powers in Atlantis. So, if somebody is using cosmic energy for channeling or healing, this person is not automatically a spiritual person. In this stage of development, this person is a receiver of energy, and now he or she has to learn to use this higher energy correctly. 
In reality, this person is in a test phase, where he or she has to approve to the existence that he or she is using the cosmic energy with the energy of light and love from the heart, and not out of the egoistic mind to feel greater than others. Because this was the negative misuse from past times, like in Atlantis. Only with the real energy of cosmic love, burnt in the heart and consciousness, one is really spiritual. Before that, one is only a student in a school class, in which the exams have to be mastered. If there is any trace of ego, arrogance, jealousy or hate, the lesson is not learned and you have to repeat it in the next life. If you read spiritual books but you don't use this knowledge in the daily life, then this knowledge is useless for you and you are wasting your life. This would be like you have a key to open a door from a cage, but you prefer to stay inside. Even more worse is, if you misuse the knowledge of spiritual books to insult and hurt others. Students in this second category, who have hurt other people out of ego and arrogance, should deeply apologize and regret and cleanse the blocking negative energy. The character has to be transformed and cleansed completely from any energetical dirt. If this is not done, the negative energy will remain and will be carried into the next life where all the missed lessons will start again, accompanied by difficult life and diseases. This is how the spiritual science, the cosmic law of the existence works and keeps the higher dimensions free from souls with negative energies. Only with energies of cosmic light and love, one can develop his consciousness, heal planet Earth, create positive karma and have personal experiences with fine matter energy and higher dimensions. We can never understand and talk about how a cherry tastes until we try one. We can never talk about walking until we know how to walk. We can never talk about the light until we had the experience with the light and understand it. We can never talk about real universal love until it's burning in our heart and we are truly living it without ego. We can never understand life and talk about the existence as long as ego, arrogance, belief systems, superstitions and hate are blurring the consciousness and perception of life. In this category, many make the mistake to speak out arrogant words out of the mouth very quickly, without not even thinking for one second. These people are not spiritual, because first they have to learn that a spiritual person has the ability to control his mind and thinks before he talks. Some students in this category are very arrogant and are interrupting somebody in his talking. They never have patience or respect to wait one minute to let the other finish talking. These people are not spiritual even when they claim they are, because first they have to learn that a spiritual person has developed patience and respect. A person without patience is not spiritual, even when he thinks he is, even when he has read hundreds of spiritual books. On higher developed planets, nobody is interrupting somebody else's talk. They always wait until somebody finishes talking, and after that they talk. Even when they communicate with telepathy, they never interrupt the other, they never misuse their energy. If you practice real meditation, you develop a consciousness with patience and respect, and you always think deeply before you talk. Because a real spiritual person knows that every word and every thought and every action has energy and therefore they are careful with what they say or do. Aggressive, arrogant people who are possessed by demons and claim to be spiritual are only blocking themselves and others, regardless how much knowledge they have read. They can lie to themselves, but they cannot lie to the cosmic awareness. In the light of the cosmic awareness, everything is open and nothing can be hidden. That is why on higher developed planets, like on the Pleiades, we are living in tune and harmony with the Source. And then we have the third category, where only a very, very small amount of the 8 billion Earth humans are real spiritual light workers, who have real cosmic love in the heart and consciousness, because they have developed it in thousands of lives on many higher developed planets. These souls became galactic humans and are in tune with the cosmic awareness and yet humble. 
They have mastered all lessons of the lower dimensions and have a higher developed mind and consciousness without any negativity. These high developed people are dissociating themselves from any kind of religions, any belief system, any political views, any dogmatic organizations or dogmatic opinions. And they don't have any kind of ego, arrogance, envy, hate or any other lower negative energy. With their cosmic love in the heart, they are offering all their talents, knowledge and wisdom to help and heal a negative society, to develop into a society of universal love, real freedom and healthy nature. And even more rare are incarnated higher spiritual developed Pleiadians, who incarnated here by free will and not because of karmic issues. As long as the majority on earth is creating negative energies, life on earth will stay unpleasant and they will continue to attract negative extraterrestrials, illuminati and religious killers. So it is important to use light work in order to heal the society on earth and create a healthy society of love and freedom, just like on higher developed planets. The next day in our light work in Spain, we went to Mas de la Canaleta in Confrides Alicante. The walk on this mountain helped us to charge with high energy of light, because at the end of this walk, we planned a meditation in a yurta tent at the Finca en Venda. In a real light work, each day the energy is increasing, if we focus on the main purpose of the energy work. But a light work is not only for sending energy of light. A light work is also an opportunity for personal inner healing and transformation. Those who want to achieve to be a real spiritual person need to clean themselves from any negative energy. In a real light work with a real spiritual teacher who is radiating a powerful light, everybody has the opportunity to heal old traumas or negative karma from the past lives in a very short time, instead of using many years or many lives to learn lessons. It is an opportunity to use a high energy of cosmic love to heal inner blockages, negative feelings, negative thoughts, negative mind patterns and old programming from this life or from past lives and therefore being able to heal diseases too. But if somebody is too arrogant to use this opportunity and even insult and attack the spiritual teacher who act as a helping channel for the healing light of the source, this person has created more negative karma and blockages that have to be healed maybe over many lives, until the lesson of the wisdom is understood. In the most cases, the lesson is simply not to have inner hidden aggression, ego, arrogance, jealousy, not to tell lies about others, not to be manipulated by dogmatic religions, and not trying to harm others, neither physically nor in the thoughts, and heal all traumas from past lives because all these negative energies are the reason for negative karma, many diseases and an unbalanced life. Many people are carrying these kind of energies from many past lives with them, because they never healed them in other lives and they wonder why they have heavy diseases. And when a spiritual person tells them the reason for this situation, they get aggressive because they don't want to hear that they have to work on themselves. As I said in all my past movies, our thoughts and emotions are energy and are creating our reality. In order to heal a negative energy, one needs to use the opposite energy, the energy of cosmic love, the energy of the source. In a real light work, there are many spiritual extraterrestrials and light beings who are participating too. They can be in another dimension or another planet or in spaceships. Distance or time does not matter for spiritual energy. They are very glad when they see efforts to create cosmic love energy and they are sending healing energy too. This powerful light brings all the hidden blockages and masks into the surface and it is helping you to see what needs to be healed. This is a huge opportunity and divine gift and it would be not intelligent to be arrogant and insulting against the spiritual teacher and the light beings who participate and are sending the energy of light for the benefit of others. There are many who lose this opportunity because they prefer to stay in old ego and hate patterns. 
So there's a big difference between being spiritual interested or being really spiritual with cosmic love in the heart and consciousness and no blocking energies. Negative energies are blocking the spiritual development. They are leading to a path of darkness and suffering and are attracting demonic entities who stay in the auric field and manipulate the consciousness. This is real and not superstition. Demonic entities exist in lower dimensions with negative people because demons feed on negative energies. Spiritual people can see and feel those entities and they are using cosmic light to dispel them. In the last day, in our light work in Spain, we had a long meditation at Lake Guadalest, where we were singing the Hugh Mantra with my music. In each light work, we have always light beings and space brothers participating too, and in this case, even nature spirits. When real spiritual people are traveling to many places on Earth to do light work, they notice and sense that each country has a main energy radiating according to the consciousness of the majority from a place. So we can see, for instance, in Europe, at places like England, Germany, Spain, Portugal, France or Italy, that the main energy that is radiating is the energy of the Middle Age, from the times between 1500 and 1800. Even if there are modern clothes, cell phones, computers and cars, we can see and feel that the main energy is still the one from the Middle Age. These places usually look grey and depressive, with no sense for art and design, depressive old buildings from war times, with the stored energy of war, depressing modern buildings that are radiating cold, dark energy and suppression, depressive clothes and colors, and the dislike for creativity or anything that would be uplifting and not from the middle age consciousness. Of course there are exceptions too, but the main energy is heavy and oppressive, and you have the feeling that a heavy weight is on your shoulder and you have depressing thoughts. The main energy from a place has an impact on thoughts, emotions and how developed and depressive a place looked like. So it is important that those who want to develop spiritually have to protect themselves from lower negative blocking energies and not be influenced by them. If you look at these two places, in which place do you feel uplifted, energized, inspired, healthy, full of light and happiness and connected with the Source? 
If the main consciousness is from old depressive times, even modern buildings will look ugly, gray and depressive and not uplifting. And people think that ugly objects and dirty scroll is some kind of art, while in reality it shows depression, frustration, fear, sadness and mental degeneration. On higher dimensions everything you see is made with love and beauty. By looking at real art, like on higher dimensions, one gets charged with the energy of the cosmic awareness and gets inspired for creating also something to express beauty. A real artist is somebody who is using beauty and uplifting colors that fills your heart and mind with happiness and inspiration. A color has a certain energy and vibration that has an influence on thoughts and emotions. If you look at beautiful colors or at the nature, you feel healthy, happy and inspired. Anything dark, dirty and ugly shows a negative influence of demonic entities and mental sickness and therefore is not in tune with the cosmic awareness. On higher developed planets like on the Pleiades, everybody has a sense for art, self-love, respect for the source and how everything is influenced by energy. That is why nobody is dressing up with the look of garbage or in black. Only lower negative entities on lower dimensions like darkness, dirt, ugliness or bad smell. Real art is triggering the consciousness to develop towards higher levels and well-being. Higher spiritual humans take care of themselves because the body is the temple in which the soul is temporarily living to make experiences. This has nothing to do with how much money you have. If you have a sense for beauty and art, you will keep your appearance and living place in beauty and good energy, even when you are not rich. The body is a gift from the cosmic awareness and it should be treated with respect. If you harm yourself on purpose, you show that you don't respect life and the cosmic awareness and you don't love yourself. This keeps you in lower negative energies and negative entities in your aura. That is why on higher developed planets nobody smokes, nobody drinks alcohol and nobody mutilates his body with tattoos or metal pieces pierced in the skin. It is a matter of higher consciousness, respect to the source and focusing on the energy of light. For those who want to become real spiritual light workers, it is important to focus on the path of light and not being distracted by negative forces. On higher developed planets, everybody looks beautiful because they keep a beautiful energy of light and love in their consciousness. They express the energy of the cosmic awareness and therefore they are much more developed. And this should be taken as an example to do on Earth too. This is a fundamental universal learning process and has nothing to do with any kind of belief systems. To develop the energy of cosmic light and love is the reason and meaning of life. At other places on Earth, the energies are mainly stuck in energies and consciousness of about 5,000 years ago. Of course, there are always some exceptions, but they are not enough to make a big difference. With a higher consciousness, nobody would harm himself because everybody would have self-love. Nobody would swim in a river full of dangerous industrial chemicals, bacteria, feces and diseases because of a 5,000 years old belief system. That is why a place stays in all blocking energies and it's not developing unless there is a real transformation of energy and consciousness. Many earth humans have still the thinking like hundreds of thousands of years ago and they are influenced so much from the limitations of earth society that they cannot understand that there is a pure higher consciousness that has nothing to do with any dogmatic fanatic belief system or superstitions of planet earth. They are walking in the darkness and blocking themselves to have personal experiences, knowledge and wisdom from the cosmic awareness. And they are even get very aggressive and fanatic in order to block anybody else too. Real spiritual light workers can sense energies and have the ability to observe and recognize at each place what the blocking energies are. So they can send a powerful light energy to these old blocking energies from the past and give people the opportunity to use the cosmic light energy and heal the old energies. The spiritual cosmic love energy is the energy of the cosmic source. It is free of any belief system. It is always offered. It is not dogmatic. It is not perverted. 
it is never forced, so it has nothing to do with political, religious, cult forces from Earth. Each soul has their own responsibility if the offered cosmic love is used or not. The soul of each individual is sensing the energy of light unconsciously, regardless if the physical ego brain notices it or not. The point is to use the energy consciously. In our next light work, we visited Greece again. The special light vortex energy in Delphi makes it one of the best places on Earth for light work, inner cleansing and healing. As in every episode, the energy of this light work is stored in the recording too, and it will be of great benefit for those who are open for cosmic love energy. Cosmic love energy is not limited by time, place or distance. And each time you watch this meditation with a loving heart, you will be charged with healing energy. 2,700 years ago, this large temple complex was built here to utilize the vortex energy of the mountain and to honor the extraterrestrial Apollo, the messenger of music and light. It was a place of healing and learning, where many philosophers were teaching their wisdom. This energy is still there and it can help the own development if visitors are in the vibration of cosmic love. Delphi became internationally known in ancient times for many women in the Temple of Apollo who were able to channel messages from other dimensions. At the base of the Temple of Apollo is an opening that leads to small tunnels and chambers. If you crawl inside, it is possible to feel the vortex energies of the mountain much stronger. So every time when we have a lightwork meeting in Delphi, each of us goes inside to get charged. Um, when I was in the temple of Apollo in the cave, um, I felt my heart was opening and my, my crown chakra was opening and my third eye chakra was opening. Um, I felt and see a lot of spiraling lights. Um, even though the cave was, was dark, I can feel the light energy and um, there was a lot of love. But, um, but yeah, it was just so much love and I felt the, the peace and the harmony. Um, and it was just an amazing experience and yeah, it was just beautiful. It was just so calm and so peaceful. And mm, I felt the really strong energy of this place and that was a very nice experience. That I don't need to be afraid and the message then was to just be in the moment and not be afraid of the darkness because I'm stronger than the darkness. I'm very grateful for this experience and for this strong energy and for this beautiful place here. Um, before I entered the, the cave, I was sitting right outside the, um, the door and I could feel the energy was very strong on my, my brow chakra. So, uh, so I knew I should go in and at least experience um, this cave, uh, this, uh, this little uh, sanctuary. So, um, so I went in and I put my hands on the stone and it was, I felt that as though the earth was shaking or the structure was shaking um, 
and at the same time I felt my heart was beating uh, rapidly uh, I could feel like um, my hands and my, my feet uh, pulsating on the on the stone of the wall when I sit next to this temple I close my eyes and I see some visions from the past how it look like like full this temple or with the trees look different and uh, I see some women in long white dress sitting inside and I try to understand what she's doing and then I feel like she in some condition of total silence and uh, then in this condition uh, she feel activation of heart center and uh, can have answers of uh, all questions when I came inside of the cave I see a lot of different color, colors of en energies, like dark blue, pink, and uh, a lot of gold energy. And uh, then I ask uh, this place to show me what is important to understand for me for this moment. And for me came some understanding, like each person must have uh, their meaning of life to incarnations. Uh, like not just one meaning of each life, like much higher meaning, but uh, they must remember always to don't get lost, because if they didn't remember this, they just uh, wasting the time. When I was in the cave of Temple of Apollo, I sit inside the cave. And the environment was very quiet. And I hear the sound in very high pitch. It's, it looks like the sound of the angels speaking directly into my ears. If you visit Delphi at a time without tourists, you can sit anywhere and feel the vortex energy of the mountain. In Lightworks, it is important to focus on the energy and not wasting the opportunity of being here with playing on the phone or having phone calls. You should be aware of each moment and be thankful for the cosmic energy you receive. The energy here is so powerful that sensitive people can feel the energy even from these recordings. The next day we went to the ancient Corician cave over Delphi. 2,500 years ago, the Corician cave was visited by many people to get in touch with the energy of the mountain and receive messages from the extraterrestrial Apollo and the Muses. The Muses are spiritual beings who are living in higher dimensions, similar to angels, and give seekers wisdom, inspiration and light. At places with vortex energy, you can see unusual trees twisted by the magnetic energy of the vortex. Every time when we visit this huge healing cave, far away from people and noises, we meditate with the sounds of the nature, 
or we sing my Hu Mantra song and feel the energy of the mountain crystals. My experience in the cave with the Moose was some was the most beautiful, was the most loving. I, I felt we just had a good consciousness with all the all the light work. It was just so beautiful. I felt like um, I was just been healed like you know the muse were there they were present there and and we were receiving energy from them and it was just incredible it was just um, so much healing energy I was just it was just so much love and so much joy and beauty beauty um, I just felt that my heart was opening and and that um there was so much love and I just felt in tune with the with the existing and I felt the love energy in my heart just open and it was just just wonderful and, you know the light love and the energy there was just so powerful um, it was just beautiful it was just a, such a beautiful experience and it was just the most incredible I've never felt so much love like that um, it was just wonderful um, just want to thank everyone and Thank you for the muse for being here, for all the light beings and and all the light brothers and sisters that are throughout the throughout the earth and throughout the um, galaxy that are here to help us to 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 make us aware that love is is the solution for everything, and it was just wonderful. Thank you. The meditation in the cave was really beautiful and just felt absolutely uplifting. Um, the deeper we meditated and the longer we meditated in the Hu Mantra, I felt that um, I was not able to escape uh, into the future or into the past. And I realized that all I needed to do is being here right now. And that felt the most natural thing to do. And it just always feels that that, that basically is the message that it's the best thing to do to be just only to be in the moment. I felt very happy that we're, all of our energies are together and I felt the wheels are holding their hands and standing behind us and also in a circle. When we start to meditate, I feel some understanding and, and for in the same moment process inside of my energy body, like a, a spiral from, from light came to, from, to my um, crown chakra and falls down, down, down and more down and it's gone to the center of the earth. And with each part of spiral, I feel like some angels show me the imperfectness from wrong reaction or something from the past. And in this condition, they ask me to like show me the way. Like you must accept everything what you have, all your experience. Don't be, don't hide this, and don't don't try to show like you are always right with something, because it's only experience. Then you just even if you wrong about something. You just need to accept this and see this point, and uh, then it's healed. This point healed because if you don't heal this part, this create uh, like a energy weight for soul, and you can go to another level when you don't finish your lessons here. And then when we start to sing mantra few, I feel it's cleansing of heart. I feel very deep cleansing of uh, heart chakra with this mantra and with this place with total silence it's great like a condition of absolute happiness and uh, even when you open your eyes you see things like there are more bright colors and more deep vision like in 3d effects when everything have a more volume like in another dimension
The Temple of Athena is very close to the main buildings of Delphi. It is much older than the other temples and it was representing the feminine principle, while the Temple of Apollo was representing the male principle. In the Temple of Athena were only women, who were connecting energetically with the energy of the Earth. The modern Greek word for Earth is Yi. In ancient Greek, the word Earth was called Yea and not Gaia, as many wrongly say. This word is the root of words like geology, which is also a Greek word and means the talk of the Earth, or the word geography, which means the writing of the Earth or the word geometry, which means the measuring of the earth. So in ancient times they were meditating in this temple for the spirit energy of Yea, the spirit of the earth. Ancient temples were always built on energy points, where the electromagnetic energy of the planet was more powerful. Originally the temple of Athena had columns all around. But 2,300 years ago, it was damaged by an earthquake and large rocks that fell down from the nearby cliff. So we did here also meditation to get charged with the energy of this power point. I was just over at... Um the temple of Athena and the energy there was just so incredible next to the, the, the waterfall I, I can just feel like something was behind I thought my hair was standing up and I thought maybe there was a bug or something but it wasn't it was just just the energy there I was just feeling like something was healing me and, and, and cleaning me uh, with new light energy we just meditated at uh, Athena's temple which gave us this beautiful energy of, of femininity and, and really just being open for love and for, for the energies. In this case, it was Athena's energy, which was feminine and receiving and loving. And uh, this is the first time I felt this energy and I was really grateful for this. We went many times to the healing water of the fountain next to Delphi. This healing water fountain was used even in ancient times as the first stop and first energizing before people entered Delphi. We are doing the same every time when we visit this place. This natural water from the mountain Parnassos is very soft and tasty and it is charging immediately with energy. I also had another experience when we went to the fountain which comes right from this mountain right here and the, the mountain is full of crystal energy and uh, as we have started drinking this fountain of crystal energy we felt different already. Close to the point for drinking the water there is a restricted area behind a fence called the Castalia Spring. This place used to be the original ancient place for getting in touch with the healing water carved at the rock of the mountain. It used to be a pool to swim inside. This point is a very strong electromagnetic energy point and when you are sensitive for energies you can feel a little dizzy. The most recent experience is when we went to the waterfall uh, next to the, well between the temple of Athena and Temple of Apollo, and this area is is not open to tourists, so the energy is stronger because uh, it it is much more uh, it's much more original with the energy of nature and how it was used in the past. And when we all when all of us were standing there, soaking in the energy and using it to amplify our energy. Uh, you know, I, I started to feel, you know, most of us felt a bit uh, woozy and, you know, it's because the energy was so strong and, and uh, some other people so beings uh, that helped us, so excited for us to be there. So we have been close to this fountain and um, the first couple of times we went there, 
I saw little elves uh, that were flying around and they were light bodies. They were um, maybe this high and, uh, and flying around us and giggling and having a good time. And they asked, uh, they, they, they were just happy to be with us. And uh, so I asked them, so what can we do for you? And they were just laughing. You can't do anything for us. We're, we're helping you. So they started helping us and clearing our energies, our auric fields. And it was so beautiful. So just loving and touching my, my inner deepest self. And um, just now when we went again, um, we were in a very different space than when we arrived a few days ago. And, uh, and these fairies came again and they, this time they were just um, singing and uh, being with us and being happy to see us again and, and uh, that we were able to soak up the energy here. And um, I had the impression that they didn't come out very often they were just happy to see light, bright people, and and <laughs> and I think that was just fun, super fun. The next day, we went to the beach close to Delphi in order to clean our energies even more with water. Staying in the water of the sea is cleansing and charging at the same time. The crystals in the water are increasing the spiritual energy of the sunlight, which is the energy of the cosmic awareness. Your aura gets charged, and when your aura is radiating a powerful light, it is even visible when you look at the edge of your shadow while you are standing in the water. Here you can see rays of energy the electromagnetic field of my aura. So we did a meditation standing in the seawater. And when our energy was charged powerful enough, I was able to take a picture of a huge orb of light in the distance that the existence has sent us as a greeting to our light work. When you create energy of light and love, the nature will react with love energy too. On higher developed planets, everybody is interacting with nature, with respect and with a high consciousness. They charge with cosmic energy and are grateful to receive it from the nature. They respect if somebody is enjoying nature with silence, so they don't disturb nobody with noise. On lower developed planets like Earth, we see the opposite. We see people acting like screaming wild apes from the jungle with primitive consciousness who think the nature belongs to them and they don't want others to be in their territory. So they have no respect to nature or others, they trample down everything on the way and they are screaming loud to disturb developed humans, animals and nature spirits to enjoy the beauty and energy of nature. On higher developed planets, you would never see this primitive behavior because it is creating a low primitive energy and is blocking to listen to nature and receive the higher healing energies. On higher developed planets, everybody has a higher spiritual consciousness. They know that nature has a consciousness with many beings visible and non-visible and they share the energy of nature with respect and a mature spiritual behavior. 
They don't disturb nobody with noises, poisonous smoke from cigarettes, drunken possessed tourists, perversions, garbage or pollution like we see on Earth. On higher developed planets, they are living in tune with cosmic awareness, the energy of the source. That is why they are never suffering of anything. They are always healthy and they are living in abundance because they respect the universal energy of the existence and they live in tune with the cosmic energy. A real spiritual person has mastered to be in tune with the light energy of the cosmic awareness and therefore their own consciousness and behavior is mature and intelligent without any trace of primitive energies of ego, arrogance, craziness or negativity. This is a goal that every student for spiritual awareness has to master. It is the base for mastering even higher wisdom and powerful energies of light. In each light work, we go many times to the hill over Delphi. Even here, you can still see some ruins from ancient buildings. This place is perfect for meditation and watching the sky at night to see light ships. We saw many light ships every night, some far away and some close. But this time my Pleiadian star family gave us a very special gift because we created a very strong energy of love. Each night they came closer and closer. This is very rare because a light ship has a powerful energy and because this energy is too powerful for earth humans, they fly in great distance. In order to come closer, they would have to lower the frequency of the light ship. But because all the past days we cleaned and charged ourselves many times, our energy was very high, so they were able to fly very close to us. Sometimes they were lighting up to greet us.
but one night a lightship came directly to our spot and flew only 150 meters over us, very slow and without a sound. The energy this ship was radiating was a very powerful love energy that everybody could feel. That is why my sensitive night vision camera started to flicker. Orbs were passing by and the air was charged with very high cosmic energy. This was a very rare gift from my Pleiadian star family to receive this powerful cosmic energy from light beings from a very short distance. This is only possible if you build up a powerful frequency of love and light in your heart and consciousness in order to be adjusted to the higher energy of the light ships and the crew. As I said in previous videos, spiritual extraterrestrials can feel and see your energy, your emotions and your thoughts, so they prefer to come close only to real loving spiritual people. In all my movies, the cosmic energy of the light work and the light ships is embedded in the recording. And it is a gift and an opportunity for those who really want to develop spiritually in this life. If you focus and sense the energy radiating from the movie, you can use this energy for the transformation of your own personal issues. Keep a loving energy in your thoughts and emotions without ego, arrogance or jealousy and you will be able to absorb the cosmic love energy for your benefit.
We went twice, no, even three times um, on up onto a hill where we meditated and where we focused on our energies. And um, this one night we stayed until 5.30 in the morning and a ship came really close and really low above us and made a, a turn. The second time this happened again and uh, this time we didn't have to wait until 5.30 in the morning. It appeared right after we got ourselves settled and sat down and meditated and it was absolutely amazing. Um, there was no sound to hear whatsoever. It was really a beautiful loving energy. Um, I, I don't have words for this. I'm just, um, I think it's fantastic. Especially when we went up on the hill um, above Delphi and we sat in silent meditation for, for a long time. Um, I was able to enter a place of silence in my body that was very beneficial and it silenced my mind and I was able to feel more love in my body and, uh, and use it. The whole light work has been incredible, you know, seeing a light ship, you know, on 20, you know, two, the same light ship, I think, on two nights, passed by extremely close to us. Um, so that was, I mean, that was, <laughs> That was, uh, that was incredible to experience that live, you know, with my own experience. Uh, so that's beautiful. So I encourage everyone to work on themselves from the, from the inside and allow for these experiences to come through and to follow the flow of life uh, as it takes you to beautiful places and beautiful experiences. Then, even while we were recording the interviews, a light ship passed by again, silent and slow, as a gift for us. You see it? You see this ship? Yeah, look at it. <laughs> look at it, it's just cruising across the mountain. <laughs> This was not especially yes for the recording. <laughs> All I can feel is my my third eye, my my crown chakra is just <laughs> just feels like <laughs> so much energized. <sighs> that was amazing. <laughs> and I was just standing here just doing this we were talking, there was a light ship that was just went across us just now, um, like just now. And being up on the hill on, on the mountain there with, uh, with the group, it was just amazing. We just saw so many light ships and, um, and there was this one that was just above us. Like it was, we can actually see it. It was just, it's just wonderful. It was just, I felt the, the light energy and it just felt so energetic after it. It was just, it's just an, a, a beautiful experience. Um, um, yeah, but um, I, I encourage everyone to to go within themselves and to to you know delete all negative and 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 give energy to Mother Earth. As she is so beautiful, and it's it's um, you know just just to be kind and to, to each other and to show compassion and and yeah. But um, thank you very much. It's been an unforgettable experience that I've never felt so much love and, and joy and, and so aware. But thank you very much. Thank you all the light workers and, and everyone that's, um, that's here. Thank you very much again. It's beautiful. It's beautiful.
It is essential to go to natural healthy places with a high vibration to cleanse the aura of the body and charge with new energy of light. Even in ancient times people were visiting those places of healing. One of these places 2500 years ago in Greece was the healing center, wellness resort and oracle of Amphiarion of Oropus, 37 kilometers north of Athens. The Amphiarion was built on an energy point and served as an oracle and healing center with a sacred spring, equal in importance to the oracle of Delphi. The healing energies of this place are still there. That is why we visited this site too. It is the best known sanctuary related to the mythological seer and healer Amphiarius. The Amphiarium was a wellness center where people received healing from the healers in the temple and from the vortex energy of the place. Some of the ancient healers are still there in etheric bodies in a higher dimension and are helping visitors to get healing energy for the body and mind. So we did here meditation to get in tune with them and the vortex energy of the place. In our meditation we got in touch with the healing energies and the healers who are still here but in another frequency. Um, one of the message I received during this meditation is um, and to heal ourselves before healing others. And I also saw a door that needs to have to open, have to be opened with a key and and the key is love. In a busy city, our mind is always very busy. But in nature, you will find it uh, much easier to empty your mind. And I'm very grateful to be participate in this life work. I'm filled with harmony and joy in this trip. This is one of the best ways to discover our own conscious level and I wish more people will open to receive the energy of uh, the universe. Yeah, this light work has been uh, extremely beneficial for me uh, in more ways than I can grasp at this moment. Uh, but. Uh, over time, as we went on with the, with the light work, I could feel a stronger influence upon my my consciousness and my and my um, my energy. My experience um, at this light work in Greece has been so much love and so much joy. Um, visiting all the vortex places has um, given me an opportunity to see what my blockages are and, and to heal them and to, to see them so that we I don't do it again obviously um, but yeah it's it's been an amazing light work with all the, the light workers here they've just been so beautiful and so um, kind and, and caring for each other and I guess the lesson is to 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 let go of all the negativity in, in our life and to, to go within and to uh, it's so simple as just to, to have the love and the compassion for each other and to, to be aware of each other and to help each other to, to develop even better, to, to get better and better every day. In the silence, you allow yourself to merge with the universe. You feel the cosmic energy and cosmic awareness flowing in all your cells. You are seeing through the eyes of cosmic love and you gain self-realization. When you reach a state of self-realization, wisdom and cosmic love in your heart, you are developing spiritually and you are in tune with the cosmic awareness, the energy called God. This means you are free from religions or negative blocking behavior or negative thoughts and you understand the fundamental cosmic energetic laws of life that are existing everywhere in the existence. You understand the main cosmic law of cause and effect, the law of karma and you act in a way that is helping everybody just like higher developed civilizations on other planets are doing. You understand that the meaning of life is to have cosmic universal love in the heart and consciousness 
just like the teacher Jesus was teaching it over 2,000 years ago. With a higher consciousness, you are balancing your material and spiritual life. With a higher consciousness, you are balancing the male and female energies in your body. You are using the male energies for taking action, and you are using the female energy to be loving and creative. Creation happens only with a balanced combination of male and female energy. When you combine the ideas and creativity with action and power, you are creating. If the male and female energy in your body is not balanced, your character is either too harsh and negative, or it is too soft and weak, because you are living in one or the other extreme. Living in extremes is not healthy and not in tune with the divine, and that is why it is the cause of any disease. When both energies in your body and mind are balanced, you can be powerful and loving at the same time, and therefore healthy. And this is the energy of the cosmic awareness, the energy called God. That is why in the nature you can always see the combination of male and female energy in the form of DNA, with the two helixes hugging each other. This is the natural state of creation. You can see the combination of male and female energy in every atom in the existence, with the combination of plus and minus energy. Anything outside this balance is creating destructive and blocking energy. By the way, the word atom comes from the Greek word atomo, which means person. You can see the combination of male and female energy in the love between a man and a woman. Sexuality is an energy exchange in the third dimension, so it is wise to make it with somebody who has real love and high consciousness, and not low negative energies like hate, ego, alcohol or smoking. Energy exchange with negative people will keep your energy negative too. The balanced loving sexuality between a man and a woman can raise the consciousness because real loving sexuality is cosmic energy exchange. Anything outside this balance is creating negative and blocking energy and therefore diseases both physically and mentally. The combination of male and female energy is the base of the magnetic energy and this magnetic energy is connecting you with the divine, the cosmic awareness. And when you connect with the energy of the cosmic awareness, you are developing a consciousness of cosmic love and you have personal experiences with higher spiritual realms. The student who wants to be spiritual will be careful with what books he reads and what kind of videos he will watch. Today with the internet, many get distracted from the real path of light. Not every video with a spiritual topic is really spiritual, even if the person in the video claims to be spiritual. As I said in the previous episodes, everything is energy and has an impact on us. Each video has a certain energy and vibration that comes from the person that created the video. A spiritual person likes to feel spiritual loving energy, so this person will avoid videos with computer voices or people with robotic mechanical voices or people with a voice of a smoker. Even if the ego of those persons think to be spiritual, even if those people have written a book, the energy of their voice shows the opposite and they are influencing others with the negative energies. And that creates negative karma. People with robotic, monotonous, stress voices have energies of the rational mind mixed with ego and arrogance. That is why their voices sound like an arrogant robot. The energy and expression of the voice shows the real consciousness of the person. On higher dimensions, nobody talks fast and arrogant with a robotic voice. They talk normal and slow, because in their consciousness they have real cosmic love energy and compassion, without any ego. A real spiritual person will always give attention to the energy of a video and the energy behind the voice, especially when the video is supposed to be about spirituality. The energy should be radiating real cosmic love that comes from the heart and from the real experiences with higher dimensions of light. It should not be an empty, rational ego mind talking, like it is the case in most videos. Give attention to the words that people are using in a video about spirituality. 
In most of these videos, you can hear the typical American street slang with low energy words like junkies, warriors, or religious words like goddess or prayer. On higher dimensions, nobody would use these words because they radiate a low negative frequency and therefore are keeping you in a low negative frequency. So if you look on Earth to the so-called spiritual videos, you can see that not even 1% are spiritual and are actually blocking others to develop. So the spiritual student will always give attention to the energy of the video, regardless if the speaker is famous, is channeling entities, is beautiful or is selling books. All these things are not important. The most important is if the speaker is radiating real cosmic log frequency of the highest light. Only then the video is really helping others to develop. The same applies to videos that claim to be channelings from Pleiadians. Most of these videos are not from us Pleiadians and they are made to discredit the real Pleiadians. A real video about Pleiadians or other spiritual extraterrestrials is never made with a computer voice because we always care about radiating loving energy. Only the greys are talking with a robotic voice because most of them are androids. If you see a video that claims to be channelings from Pleiadians, first you will look if the speaker is a real spiritual human and not a computer voice. You will feel the energy of the person in the video and you will look if the information is about helping you to become your own master by working on yourself. A fake video will only talk about events in some future to make you wait for something and distract you from working on your inner development. In fake videos they say 10% correct things to keep you listening and 90% wrong things to prevent you from doing personal inner spiritual cleansing and rather waiting that some extraterrestrial will do all the work for you. These videos are mainly created from Illuminati, NSA and similar secret agencies and from people with ego who are manipulated by dark energies. As I said in previous episodes, the dark side on this planet don't like lightworkers or Pleiadians and they try to discredit us by telling lies about us to manipulate ignorant people. The dark side is attacking us lightworkers since thousands of years. Since the 1960s they have infiltrated and manipulated the spiritual esoteric field on earth with misinformation in many books to block the spiritual development of earth humans. A real spiritual human can distinguish a real from a fake spiritual book by looking at the energy that is created with the book. The real authentic information from dimensions of light and benevolent extraterrestrials is rare and it's always about developing the cosmic love in the heart and consciousness. Because only with cosmic love in the heart and consciousness, you are in tune with the source and higher frequencies of light, the energy called God. So a human who wants to develop spiritually in this life seriously, will look for the energetic signature of cosmic love in videos, channelings or books. As I say in all my videos, cosmic love is the key to open the door to higher consciousness and higher dimensions. Yes, there are many who don't believe this on this planet, but those people are ignorant and without knowledge, without personal experience with energy of light. Most of them are manipulated by real demons who are manipulating their thoughts, emotions, words and actions. That is why they hate light workers, they hate light and love energy and they insult Pleiadians. Some earth humans are just ignorant and manipulated by belief systems of the middle age and by TV and media brainwashing. So don't let those people distract you. They need many lives to develop in a higher level of knowledge. This is what they have chosen for themselves. Everybody creates his own level of consciousness. Every student has the ability to develop fast or fall and stay in darkness and learn very slow in many lives. When a soul leaves a planet, the only thing it takes along is the gained knowledge, wisdom and energy in the consciousness, and this will be the level of consciousness in the next life. A spiritual student will focus on the inner development of cosmic love in the heart and consciousness, and will protect himself from any kind of negative evil energy or person. We are all particles of the cosmic awareness, the energy called God, and we have the responsibility to use cosmic energy for the good of all, with cosmic love in the heart and consciousness. 
This is how we live on higher developed planets. That is why we are in tune with the cosmic awareness, the source. Cosmic love in the heart and consciousness is the main goal. It is the reason and meaning of life. In the chaotic society of planet Earth, some Earth humans start to have the wish of harmony and peace outside of the slave system of crimes, manipulation, belief systems and wars. It would be healthy to live in self-sufficient own houses and gardens in wellness places in the nature. Those who have the possibility to create places like this should use all the power and talents to achieve this and they are free to send me a private message on YouTube. This is light work and creates positive karma because it would help the planet to heal and to develop and it would show benevolent loving extraterrestrials that some earth humans are ready for interconnection because they start to live like higher developed humans on other planets. Don't miss to watch all the previous episodes of my series Cosmic Love is the Solution for Everything. Each time you are watching them, you gain more knowledge and wisdom and you receive the embedded frequencies of light from higher dimensions. This will help you to develop cosmic love in your heart and consciousness. It will help you to master your life and be a healing, loving light for others. Our thoughts and emotions are creating our reality. Let us shine our loving light and create a reality of cosmic love. Because this is the meaning of life.